Okay, C. Lindelof videos. Rational exponents in simplest form. This is a really, really important video, and I sometimes I don't know how to convey which ones are just really crucial and which ones are, frankly, more obvious. But can we just keep in mind these two little rules here? The first rule is this, that if we have a product under the radical, as long as the radical matches, we can say it's the same as the, in this case, square root of A times the square root of B, as long as the radicals match. So if this is the fifth, this would be fifth, fifth, etc. The other thing is this. The other rule is this, and we're going to apply both these rules today. The other one is this. We're going to apply this rule backwards that we have a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. So check this out for a second. This problem looks a little bit weird and difficult. Given these two rules alone, we can really do something about this. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to make my, a different picture. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to take the fifth root of 4 a to the fifth times a to the third, given this rule would be a to the 5 plus 3, it's a to the eighth. And if you're wondering why I did the fifth, because what I'm trying to do is match these up. I'm like, okay, fifth root here, fifth root here. I'm going to move on. I'm going to take my b to the 14th. I'm going to take my b to the 14th, and I'm going to break that out into something that has factors of... Five. So I'm going to take, I'm going to say that b to the tenth, because ten is equally divisible by five, times b to the fourth, b to the tenth times b to the fourth is b to the ten plus four, b to the fourteenth, right? Times c to the fifth, c to the fifth. That's just me screwing around with this rule right here. So everything I did there follows this. It's probably the first rule of properties of exponents. I'm going to use that first rule. And then I'm going to start applying this rule. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say that the fifth root, the fifth root, this root, this root, of a to the fifth, I'm taking out all the, all the factors that ha are divisible by 5, a to the fifth, b to the tenth, c to the fifth, times the fifth root of 4, a to the third, b to the fourth. We can test this to see if it still works. If we tested this, we'd get a to the fifth times a to the third, which is a to the eighth, a, a b to the tenth times b to the fourth, given this rule right here, is b to the fourteenth, plus that. So that all works, doesn't it? Now we can take this rule that we know. And you can do this either way you want, but I kind of look at it like this. I'm like, I have this done right here. So what we have is this. We have a to the fifth, b to the tenth, c to the fifth, all raised to the one-fifth power, right? That's a rational exponent. So we can take radicals and turn them into rational exponents. So that's what I'm doing, right? Times all this crap that I still have. I'm not going to be able to do much with this. So I'm just going to keep this like this, if you don't mind. I could raise it to that power if I want to. It just won't help, so I'm not going to mess with it. b to the fourth, right? Now we know this. We know that it's either the fourth or fifth rule of exponents that if we have a quantity raised to an exponent, we distribute. So a to the 5 times 1 fifth is a to the 5 fifths, otherwise known as a. b to the 10th times raised to the 1 fifth power is b to the 10 fifths power, because 10 times 1 fifth is 10 fifths. So that's b squared, isn't it? And then c to the 5th raised to the 1 fifth power is 5 times 1 fifth, which is 5 over 5, which is just C, isn't it? Again, times all of this crap here. And if you're looking at this going, what did I get out of this? As math gets more difficult and more complicated, the more um, alternatives you have, the more ways you can move math around, <clears throat> the better you can unfold it all. So I just want to make sure that I've given you this opportunity to really look at rational exponents and how to simplify them. You have to start with rules of exponents. If you're not familiar with the rules of exponents, I think I have them here for you. Where do I have them? I have them here for you. I'll leave them on the screen. You can just freeze the screen for a second and copy down these rules of exponents because these are the rules that I'm using uh, and, and also the rule that's the product of a square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. Remember, this is a product rule. This is not true for addition or subtraction. 
Um, look, you guys, I hope this is really helpful. This is really, really important math. Uh, and your ability to do calculus or higher level math is directly correlated to your ability to do algebra. So make sure your algebra is sound. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.